Hello, good evening, everyone. Yeah. So maybe we wait for a few more seconds for everybody to, to feel in the room. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming to the meeting today. It's our pleasure to see you here, and it's our pleasure to create this meeting room for everybody to join and to share everything that uh, related to Catalyst and Carano. And uh, I would like to introduce today. Today we have a new member from New Zealand. Uh, Joe, can you jo can Joe say hi to everyone? Kia ora Kato from from Bay of Plenty in New Zealand, in Aotearoa. Nice to be here with you guys tonight. Great. So next time, if you guys have any friends that speak English, please ask them to join because we have a lot of interesting thing here already that Joe has set up for everyone. Yeah. Right. So uh, so now, um, excuse me for just a second. And... Um, Okay, so I think we can start now. Uh, and okay, Yuta here. Okay, uh, so uh, first of all, um, I would like to introduce uh, to my community in Vietnamese and, and then going to pass to other community. So uh, I'm going to speak Vietnamese. À, xin chào và chào mừng mọi người đến với phòng họp Eastern Town Hall ngày hôm nay. Rất cảm ơn mọi người đã dành thời gian cuối tuần để cùng tham gia hoạt động chung của cộng đồng Cardano. Vì sự hiện diện về ngôn ngữ của người Việt Nam là rất quan trọng đối với sự phát triển của Cardano. Phòng họp này sẽ được diễn ra hai tuần một lần và là nơi để cộng đồng Cardano Catalyst đến để chia sẻ, cập nhật thông tin về các dự án và sự phát triển của Cardano và Catalyst. À, rất là cảm ơn mọi người đã đến tham dự ngày hôm nay. ạ. Thank you so much. All right, so I think uh, Joe... introduce myself so um yes joe from new zealand running the english room this evening i'm not quite sure you to not here i don't think um but me and tian running the vietnamese room and andy maybe yeah. from indonesia mm. lynn you need to confirm that for me that's correct. Uh, Andy from you know no, normally Jan, but uh, Jan have other the event for Saturday. So, uh, normally Andy, but uh, probably Japanese. I'm sorry, uh, Indonesian room. They may run in their own time at this particular time. So maybe the, we have uh, Japanese, which is Utah, and Vietnamese room, and for English would be Joe. Yeah. Me, can you finish? Okay. That? Yes. Uh, thank you, Joe. Yuta, and... yes. Yeah, Yuta, Yuta San, are you here? Yes. Um. Thank you so much. Eh, uh, to ah, you can go to the same as I just told you. Eh, to from the outside, ah, no, to 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 the outside, ah, no, Thank you so much, uh, Yuta-san. And uh, next one, uh, thank you for all the uh, members that in our community in the Eastern Town Hall that support and that make it uh, Town Hall come true. And we have been working uh, continuously for almost three years. And that's a bless that we receive support from everyone. Thank you so much. And next, we have the Catalyst Clock. Um, yeah, so I think I'll pass to Joe. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so... What's happening now, if there's anybody new to um, Project Catalyst, you can find more information at projectcatalyst.io that has um, access to all of the most recent funds. And also you'll find um, links there to the knowledge base as well. And then number two on the clock is um, Fund 11, which um, closed in February. So, um, Almost everybody has um, done their proof of achievements, um, their um, proof of lives, and um, 
the proof of achievements need to be in by the 20th each month in order to get paid in the second week of the following month. That's usually how it works if you're a funded proposer. Um, and if you don't quite get it in by the 20th, the proof of achievement, then there is another um, payment towards the end of each month. Um, another thing that happened this month was Fund 12. Um, there was a vote using the Catalyst voting app um, on which city would be the launch city for uh, the Fund 12, which is coming up in April. And Barcelona won with 30% of the, the vote and more than 3,000 votes. Um, more for, So a big win for, for Barcelona, which is where the launch will be. Number four is um, Fund 12. The um, actual launch hasn't, the, the, the date I don't think has been completely locked down yet, but it is, it is coming up. So if you're going to do um, a proposal for Fund 12, there are um, all of the information, the terms and conditions that you need um, on the Catalyst website and also Intersect, uh, which is the members-based organisation, which is just ramping up to take over the governance of the Cardano Level 1 protocol, um, the organisation that is... Um, uh, looking after that and as part of the, the governance moves from Voltaire is called Intersect, Intersect MBO. Um, so you can click on that, that link and go to Intersect's website and find out about what's happening with SIP 1694, which is the governance Voltaire um, uh, Cardano improvement proposal and when the next steps are going to be happening with um basically handing over Cardano to its community to run. Um, and then lastly, we've got breakout rooms tonight for Japan and Yuta, who is here for, um, for that, and Vietnam. Um, there'll be funders, funded proposers updating um, on their delivery. And um, yeah, I'll be looking after the English room. So come and talk to me in the English room as well. Next slide, Lynn. So there's now 792 closed out projects that have been funded, bootstrapped by Project Catalyst, received grant funding. If you want to find out any more, um, there's lots of links on this page, including a community um, driven site, which has been using all of the data um, that the Project Catalyst team have been using called Lido Nation. If you want to know a little bit more about um, Project Catalyst, Light Donation is a great place to, um, to start. There is um, guidance regarding the reporting, um, which isn't monthly reporting anymore. Monthly reporting has finished. It's proof of achievements, but it has to be in, as I said before, if you can, by the 20th. Um, and if you want to do more, get involved with the Cardano um, governance, for instance, click on the link which says call to action, which will give you a whole load of other ways where you can get involved. Next slide, Lynn. So yeah, this is the, the current fund that is just being distributed now, or at least the first payments are being distributed. So 100% of people have done their proof of life, done their onboarding, submitted their milestones. There are just a few more people to get signed off and a few more test transactions to get finalized. And then all 300 grantees will be off and running on their um, Fund 11 projects. And if you want to learn more about that onboarding process and where everybody's at, again, there's a link on that page um, for onboard tracking, and you can go and see more information there. Next slide, Lynn. Thanks. So for Fund 12, which is the next fund coming up in April, if you'd like to put in a proposal and um, bid for some grant funding from the um, Cardano Treasury for your idea, building on 
Cardano or for the Cardano community, then um, there are a few things that you need to be aware of. Um, in order to be eligible to put in a proposal, every previous <coughs> proposal uh, from fund from fund nine back, if you've had anything that's funded before that, um, those project projects need to be closed off one way or another. Um, uh, which you know is a process that you can go through and and connect with the project project catalyst team to close those out or make some arrangement. Um, there will be a cap, likely on all of the um, number of active projects that you um, can have, and that is still being um, those policies are still being written at the moment. As is the last one, which is a cancellation policy for some projects that have gone completely dark, um, where people haven't claimed their money and they haven't um, put any proposal, any um, any reports in or proof of achievements or milestones and um, have not contacted the Project Catalyst team. Um, so a lot of those projects uh, that have had no um, communication whatsoever, um, there'll be a policy coming out to um, close those off and return, um, probably return the um, ADA back to the Treasury for later funds. Uh, we're not the only town hall. Um, the Eastern Town Core Hall is the friendliest town hall, I think. <laughs> but there are other town halls, European, um, MENA Town Hall, African Town Hall, LATAM, um, in Latin America and the Pacific Town Hall. Um, all of those dates can be found by clicking on the Catalyst Swarm link at the top underneath there, Building Communities, and you'll find them. most of them are um, Zoom calls that you can register for um, whatever time of the clock you would like to get up. <laughs> There's something happening. Next slide. Okay, that's it. We'll go to the breakout rooms in just a second, Lynn, when you're ready. Um, if you'd like more information, again, there are lots of links um, in the deck. The link to the deck is in the chat as well. Lynn, are we all good for breakout rooms? Yay. Ready to go. <laughs> we'll see you in the English room. Thank you very much for coming this evening. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Joe. So uh, everyone, please feel free to join the breakout room at the bottom right of your screen. And uh, if you cannot join it, please uh, let me know. I can support you.